Okay, now let's let's just discuss about the item number three here. Okay, which is uh, using the MATLAB to apply a pre-trained CN, or we call it also this is also known as transfer learning. So what we do is that we want to uh, develop our CNN uh, using by by modifying the well-established CNN uh, architectures. So in this case or in this syllabus, we only focus on LXNet. So how actually can we modify the LXNet so it can solve uh, our problems? Okay, this is the one that's related to your mini projects. Okay, your mini project, you need to use this one. Okay, among uh, again like I said before, among these four, number three is the most the best way or the the the, the best way in and the practical way or the common way to 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 develop the CNN because uh, because there's a lot of uh, advantage in using approach number three because in approach number three you don't have to to do some you know when you train from scratch you need a big data but uh, of course when you use uh, that that is that is very difficult for you to access if you don't have any big very big data so that's why uh, people like to use number three because number three is like you are borrowing other people brain to solve your own problem so of course you don't need a, a empty brain okay you already have a some your brain already have you you just imagine the terminology is like you have one brain which is already have a capability to learn something which is bigger and you want that brain to solve your small problem so so that's mean uh, when you apply this number three so the training uh, we in, in training process the the conversion process is going faster than you are training from scratch because you're using the brain which is already learned many things big big things okay and another terminology for this transfer learning or number the, the 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 number three approach here the, 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 the approach number three here is also known as transfer learning is that just imagines is like uh, this is the okay uh, before that i want to dec i want to say that uh, this is one of the specialty about cnn as compared to shallow uh, shallow neural network because uh, before this when we talk about the shallow neural network or before we talk about deep learning it's very rare to see people import other network to solve their own problem but the speci speciality about CNN you can do that this is what we call as transfer learning okay so it's like uh, the terminology is like uh, you have a friend who for example your friend is good at uh, score in, in for example O level I, I'm sorry let's say your friend uh, gets straight A for A level for example and and meaning that this your your friend is, is very good at uh, solving all the problem in, in exam and then uh, you is you are preparing yourself to, to, to you know to, to, to answer O level question like let's say mathematics question in O level so it's like okay you can say to your friend uh, uh, can, can, can i borrow your brains i want to solve uh, i want to i want to borrow your brains to for me to to take the o level exam of course you can score after that so so that is some some kind of ter terminology how actually a transfer learning uh, looks like of course in 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 reality you cannot do that you cannot you know uh, or uh, you cannot borrow your friend brain of course it's very where it's not it's not uh, uh biologically it's not e easy to you know to change the brain okay but in uh, cnn you can do that meaning that well established cn architecture like lxnet google net you can use it for to solve your small application why i said your application is very small is because again if you read the history of lxnet like we explained before lxnet have been trained to the the training process itself take six million image to classify one thousand classes meaning among this six million image alexnet capable to classify into one thousand classes so imagine that you want to use this one 
for your small set of image later you will capture using uh, you, 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 you selfie yourself uh, wearing mask and not wearing mask and then you want AlexNet to classify into two classes only which is uh, is either wearing a mask or is no, not wearing the mask so you have two classes but in reality AlexNet managed to soft uh, to classify 1000 classes among 6 million image so imagine that of course that that's why i said that oh, uh, we can instead of we try to to you know to find out what is the best architectures uh, to solve our problem so it's better for us to you know borrow other people's well established architecture and it's a learnable it's a trainable it's a it's a learned uh, it's a learned uh, architecture it's already learned with 1000 classes so it for sure it can solve this only it's just it, it, it is just to classify into two classes it's not problem for 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 them okay so so doesn't matter is it alexnet google net and so on but in this case we only focus on alexnet so something that is related to uh, item number approach number three here you can go to your matlab and uh, you can open the file cnn transfer learning okay this is the same I, I this one is the same thing what i do is that i just uh, take this example from the matlab uh, website so you just uh, search alexnet and uh, matlab alexnet transfer learning or matlab transfer learning alexnet then you find out there's a one example which is exactly almost similar with this one okay but uh, i just modified a little bit i want because if you apply the matlab it will open the uh, data set which is in zip version you need to unzip first but i already unzip and i put it here which is uh, must data set and uh, must data so must data if you double click again the it, it is similar to digit digit data set if you double click the must data set you have a picture of image this time is a color image okay it's not a gray scale and then uh, we have uh, several classes here one two three four five we have five classes of image so you want to train the alexnet to be class uh, uh, given the image it can classify the image into these five classes is it a cap is it a cube just matlab put the uh, matlab in front to you know it, it's just uh, for the marketing purpose i think so it's really this one is cap this is a cube this is a playing card this is a screwdriver so you just double click you can see the the, the image there okay so um so how do we do the transfer learning how do actually we want to modify the AlexNet to be to solve our problem or in other words make uh, uh, AlexNet to be customized to solve our problem okay again the first step is similar to the previous one okay of course you need to uh, assign your data with your uh, uh, image data store variables there IMDS and again the setting is similar because uh, the arrangement is similar any because we have five classes so every image which is uh, represent the cap you put under the folder cap so the same things you need to arrange in that way then you put okay if you execute this section you will get the IMDS there Oops, sorry. Uh, I, I have a wrong directory there. Okay, run section there. Because I set the current folder. Okay, okay, that's good. So you can see here, this is my IMDS. Okay. Okay, you can see the labels there. We have a cap. Okay, MATLAB cap, MATLAB cube, MATLAB playing card and screwdriver. So even this this data set is very small okay one one classes you have only one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's just uh, eleven or twelve image per per classes so it's very small 
So it's not enough to 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 you know to learn to make a deep learning or CNN because CNN need very big data to you know to converge. So that's why uh, this approach is applicable or is practical, is suitable uh, where actually you don't need a very big data because uh, we believe that once you get the LXNet, LXNet is already at the almost global minimum point okay so that's why if you do a pre-train like this it will it will go to the global minimum faster okay because you start at the point where you are almost close to the the global minimum so that that's why we, we do that we so do the, and and then we don't need more data because we your your the starting point is almost close to the global uh, minimum okay in, in 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 training progress there just imagine that okay um and then uh we will need to split our data there again this is a very uh, biased way to do because you only split in two uh two two data one is training data one is validation okay if you compare this one with between this one and the previous one it's almost similar just this one we mentioned the number of data but at this point you can also give the ratio so it means that this function split each label can support two two mode one you can mention the the size of the data here or if you don't mention the size you can also mention the ratio like this 0 0.7 meaning that 70 percent will go to the training and the another 30 percent you can go to here okay so just proceed with this uh things first okay we proceed okay split it into here okay this is your now the mds split into 70 percent here 30 percent here and then this one is just to see the information about our data okay which run section this one this section then you you will this it will display here okay you can see that we only have 15 image per classes 15 belong to cap 15 belong to cube 15 to playing card and so on and then this one so again this one is for display purpose like the previous one we just want to randomly selected any any image inside this data set and we just display a sample of it Okay, so this is a sample of image there. You can see that it's a color image. It can be a cube, it can be a cap, it's a, it can be a touch like, and it can also be a playing card like this one. Okay. And then you just uh, select, uh, define your net as LXNet because LXNet is a. a is already as built in inside the built-in uh, function or built-in library, uh, MATLAB built-in library. So if you write LXNet, you will get the net which is belong to LXNet. Okay, and then once you assign your net equal to LXNet, which is a trainable LXNet or well-established LXNet, uh, a train LXNet, I mean. So then you again you can display the architecture of your net, meaning that now you are displaying the architecture of LXNet. Okay, by applying by 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 executing executing this one. Okay, now we let's say we execute that one. And this one is just to see the size of the first layer. Of course, the first layer is the input layer. It should be a color image. I two two four time two two four. Okay, let this that is the the uh, the the standard. I uh, not the standard. I mean the LXNet already fixed the input size with 224 times 224 times 3 which is color image and the size of X and Y is 224 and 224 so meaning that if you have any image which is diff in different size then you need to resize the image according to 224 times 224 before you can fit into this LXNet ok just go to this slide ok let me just remind you on the LXNet architectures 
you go back to the slide yep oh it's a 227 sorry sorry it's not 224 it's a 227 okay this is alexnet 227 so it's exactly like the one here 227 time 227 time 3 okay uh, maybe in this uh, example it's not alexnet i change it to alexnet it might be this one is google net so uh, I, I change it into 227 time 227 time 3 in the comments there okay so because my, my, might be previously this example is 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 using google nets okay google net have their different have different size input so so then you need to change according to the what type of well established architect or cnn architecture that you are using okay if you are using alexnet it's you must uh, make sure that the input image has been resized into 227 time 227 so again uh, this one is just to if you put net dot layer one is just it will give you description about layer one which is the input layer where the input size is 227 time 27 time 2 okay so and then uh, yep that that's so this is uh, if you want to get the input size then the input size is uh, net dot layer number one at input size so then you get the input size because if you call input size because net here dot here this is the member variable of this net so then you get the size here so it's just a get input size so the input size variable now assign as the size of the input size of this uh, LX net okay so after that so how to modify this LX net to solve your problem because now our problem we have uh, this small image which is belong to five classes only and again if you talk about the LX net the it can be classified into 1000 but now you want to classify it into five classes only so if you go into this slide back so you realize that each cnn normally like i said before when you do some task let's say you want to solve some problem where you want to classify into five then the output there the last output should be uh, the size of neuron should be five so same go to the LXnet because LXnet have been trained with six million image to classify 1000 classes so that's why the output neuron here is 1000 so now from these architectures the one that you need to modify is this one the last layer okay because the last layer now let's say if you want to solve a problem of image to be classified into five classes then this 1000 need to be converted into five neuron only instead of 1000 okay so that's why you can see here once we manage to uh, assign our net as LX net we need to modify at this section okay replace a final layer so meaning that you just copy okay now you assign transfer layer transfer layer is you copy from net of layer 1 up until the third last layer you assign here meaning that from this net you are removing the last three layer okay you just copy paste here but you remove the last three layer so why the last why we need to to delete the last three layer and assign it here okay once you assign this one let's say i execute this one then you need to create the new architectures where you copy this LXnet layer from one to 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 to, to, to the one that before the last three layer because you already removed the last three layer here okay you you only take the the force la, the force uh, the, the 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 last uh, the the fourth last okay not the third last the fourth last layer from layer first until the fourth last layer 
is inside this transfer layer so you copy here and then you create your new three layer so that's why you remove this three layer of the AlexNet because you want to replace with your own layer which is will make your last layer only have two neuron okay again what I why I said a two, two neuron remember that uh, this three like I discussed in the previous uh, MATLAB code if the fully connected is belong to the last layer it will all it will attach with the soft layer and classification layer that is for sure okay so this is actually is the last layer even you have three line this is the last layer okay remember this one the we the one that we do from scratch okay i said before this is your last layer and when we when you draw the layers there in with with uh, word document there sorry So, again, uh, this is relate. This is this one is the previous one. Eh? It's not the okay. You see that this is create simple deaf learning from scratch, deep learning from scratch. Dot M. Okay, we have discussed this before. When you have arrived at the last layer, normally this fully connected layer is belong to the soft Mac. So that's why I put it as a soft Mac of tent neuron. Meaning that this architecture only actually is classify the image into 10 classes okay into 10 classes like said like I said before so again same as this one so why we need to remove the 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 last three layer because that last three layer is represent the last layer okay so so that's why I said in this slide before when you want to modify your AlexNet architectures the one that you need to remove is this one instead of 1000 you need to call you, you need to change it into five neuron only or five classes only but and this one is re, in matlab code is repre is represented by yeah this one is represented by this three line or eh, eh, eh this three line same like this one this three line is represented by this the, the last layer here so that's why we need to remove three layer in this one because this th last three layer represent the last layer so that's why we just copy the whole AlexNet except the last layer and the last layer you need to add it with your own customized classes which is five classes because the number of classes here you get from here actually number of classes this here, here this one you will get five Okay, this is how we you do automatically to to a uh, to get your your classes. Of course, you can just uh, write num num classes equal to five is also uh, can. But of course, we we instead of manually set that, you need to one way to do is we can obtain the number of classes ac according to the data set we have. Or maybe later, if you want to to apply the same code for other application or other data set, which is not. Uh, the number is of classes is not 5 then you don't have to uh, set back this one because this one already automatically get automatic uh, automatically get the the number of classes from the data set that you want to process okay just the number of classes is equal to 5 so that's why this number of classes we put here so that's why you fully connected you will get fully connected layer 5 here okay this is 5 so so that is that is that's the the Okay, that's that is that's it. Meaning that very simple, right? Just you replace, you remove the 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 last three layers, which is represent the last layer of your AlexNet, and then you added your own last three la last three layer, which is represent the last layer of your 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 problem, because you want have you want the last layer to have two classes only. So if I uh, run this section. Now you have a customized, so you can see here number of classes equal to five. So that's why now it's not one thousand anymore. The last layer you have earned five neuron only, 
and then um, okay this one is the process of uh, you want to resize your image because the image that you in the data set is not 227 times 227 one way you can do is you can uh, do this thing because this actually when you apply this thing it will make sure during the training process automatically uh, any image which is not 227 times 227 it will resize uh, during the training process okay so you, you this is the set you, you set that but it's not resized yet it will resize when you apply the training at, at the bottoms there okay this one is just the function of uh, how actually it will when you write this 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 uh, instruction it will automatically when the read when the 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 training process read the image from the data set it will automatically uh, apply the i am resize and then the size is according to 227 times 227 okay but uh, actually uh, i'm not uh, suggested you to you you can try this one if let's say in your assignment it's very heavy for for your matlab to 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 uh, classify or to proceed with the training then we need to do this externally okay because uh, i also have a one project uh, a previous final year project uh, which is uh, very difficult to run the code when you are resizing during the the training so so what i do that i give you uh, some other code which is we need to you know resize it externally means that you you you, you open the image you resize and you save back to another folder then i when i want to uh, proceed this uh, program then i use the the one that i already resize the image from the ex externally so but this one you do internally means that during the training it will resize okay so let's do it uh, internally okay now we proceed this one we proceed this one okay again this one we already discussed about this one now we using a maximum approach is six and then we need we already we set our mini mini batch size equal to 10 and then we have a validation data let's execute that one now we train our network okay you can see that uh, we train our network but this layer now have a LXnet modified LXnet it's not it's not from scratch of course it is a little bit faster to, to train and it's, it's appropriate to use a small training data because it's already the w that fix here is already at the position where the point is close to the global minimum so so that's why it's very fast as compared to you training from scratch and then uh and then you put the training data okay now let's let's we let's execute that one Okay, now the the uh, training is started. Okay, so let's already start there. Eh? As you can see, it's it's almost hundred percent. Uh, that is training accuracy but you can see that the validation accuracy is finalized at 90 percent so meaning that this is quite challenging data as compared to the previous one okay because training is achieved 100 but the validation is only uh, stable at 90 percent okay but because i already said the maximum approach there is what maximum is uh, six epoch so that's why we stop uh, at six there yep at six okay then the less you can just uh, again calculate according to the previous lectures okay the validation accuracy is 90 percent and then uh, of course you if you want to execute this section you just show the train i'm sorry uh, if you want to execute this section you just 
uh, it's just showing you the 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 modified LXNet that you do. Okay, I I skip this one. Okay, again this is this is for uh, testing, but of course again it's not. Uh, but this is a bias way to do because you apply you do testing with validation data. So again, let's say if you want to to make it uh, better, then make sure that you mod you you modify this code and change it into the one that I have teach you in the previous lecture. Means that you need su to separate your validation into testing data. Then uh, at this part, you must put the IMDS test to 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 find the score that to classify to see what whether your 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 programs there is correct or not okay to find the accuracy here ma must make sure that this one change it to IMDS test this one uh, this is also IMDS test okay but this one I'm sure that the accuracy is 90% because you can see over here the accuracy is 90% so it's not represent the performance of the system okay because normally testing is the data that don't involve in training process Validation data is the data involved in training process but don't involve in updating the W. While the training data itself involved in training process as well as involved in, up, uh, in, 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 up, uh, in updating your W. So that is the difference between training data, validation data and testing data. Okay, if I run this one. Then that's that's the, that is the some random example we capture from here, and that is the label or the output of the, uh, the 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 output of the 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 the, the CNN that you have already modified from the LXNet. Okay, it's a correct play, playing card. This one is is it a screwdriver? This one, I think this one is wrong. This one is correct. This one is touch light. This is the cube. Okay, let's we run another one. Hopefully they they capture another sample, random sample. Okay, cap correct. Playing card correct. Uh, this is touch light correct. This one is touch light correct. Okay, so how about another trial? Okay, so I think this one is touch light. It's not a screwdriver. Yep, this is where it's wrong. So that's why the accuracy only ninety percent. How many classes? Oh, sorry. Screwdriver, touch like. I think the, the cube, cap, playing card. So I think this one is touch. Okay, this one should be touch. Yeah, yeah, it's a screwdriver. Yeah, it's a screwdriver. Okay, but but of course the accuracy is only ninety percent, meaning that there's a ten percent errors there. Okay, so in your excitement, please make sure don't do something like this. Meaning that later you need to, in order for you to show the performance of your 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 CNN, then you need to implement it by using testing data IMDS test. Okay, then you need to modify this code a little bit so you can do that for your assignment. Don't uh, show the performance in terms of accuracy while you calculate the accuracy based on the validation data. Okay, 